Welcome back to my channel, this is DJ Andy of Direct Disco Services here in Huddersfield, West Yorkshire. Now, as you can see behind me, this is the new Mark Mix Track Pro 2. Now, I had a, a message from somebody um, a while ago regarding this um, Mix Track Pro and said that they bought one and it wouldn't work on Virtual DJ and they'd noticed that I used the Virtual DJ on my laptop and <coughs> I tend to use the controller. Now the controller goes through a mixer and then it goes through into the amplifier and into the speakers obviously. So I use this controller on my primary laptop and I use the second laptop as a backup through the mixer. Now when you buy these you usually get the box here. As you can see you get a set of instructions and you are encouraged, I'll just pick the box up here and bring that in closer. To buy that software there which is called Serato or Serato depending on where you are in the world and how that is pronounced. Once you've downloaded that, this Mixtrack Pro, you will plug it into your PC or laptop and it will work straight off the bat, no problems. However, it is compatible with Virtual DJ but you do need to do some things to uh, calibrate it to the Virtual DJ software which is not as obvious as what they have put in the instructions um, so yeah let's get started with this and we'll get into it why and how it, it actually works on virtual DJ it's not a difficult thing to do you just need to do a download um, to get the correct mappers for virtual DJ there will be a link in the description below so that you can get the mappers if you need the mappers to get your new Mac Mixtrack Pro working on Virtual DJ. So okay let's get started. So to get started with this video, you have the Mixtrack Pro here, and this is how it basically comes. It just looks like um, the standard CDJs that you can get. However, it does look a bit Toys R Us, Toy Story um, kind of thing. It is, it is a, a plasticky. They have improved the way they build them lately, because I bought the original one, the first one that came out, and I didn't really like it, so I sold it. Uh, and then I bought this one. Um, it seems to be working fine for me at the moment. So basically all you need to do when you're setting this up is go around the back, around there, and you will get the um, audio, audio ports there which will connect into your mixer or amplifier speakers, whatever you're using. You will also see the USB port in. You need to plug this in using the lead provided. Once you've done that, you can plug the other end of the lead into the laptop or PC that you are using. Once you've done this, you will notice that nothing on the new Mac Mix Track Pro works. You can slide the sliders about and everything, and nothing works on the laptop screen, as you can see. Once you've done that, you can then start working on the laptop programming okay there you see virtual DJ nothing is happening at the moment so what you need to do is basically close this that's my desktop screen we'll close this down for now as mentioned previously in the video there is a link down in the descriptions below to get these <coughs> mappers that you require for your software so there you can see the mouse cursor over it, the file that you need there and then mix track pro 2 device there 
So there's one and there's the other. These will download into your download box on your computer or you can designate a folder of your own. I've basically put these on the desktop so you can see them there and there. As you can see, highlighting. So what you need to do is basically go into where your virtual DJ file is. Usually it's in documents, there you can see it there. Click on that and you find a file called mappers. There. So there you can see it says new mark mix track pro to mappers. So that one would be the one on the right there that I've got the mouse pointer over and all you need to do is drag and drop that into that file like so as you can see it's already there so it doesn't need to be applied to that file because I've already done this so therefore the new Mark Mixtrack Pro mapper file is already in place because I've already dragged and dropped it so okay the next one you'll need if we just go back is devices and then you see Mixtrack Pro 2 device which is this file here so all you need to do again is drag and drop it into thing where you see it's already there and you basically just close the file once you've done all that they are now in the virtual DJ system and you can close the file down open virtual DJ back up there you can see it's asking for the password and everything no I don't want to do that and there you go So there we go guys, the new Mark Mix Track Pro 2 and how to set it up with Virtual DJ and downloading the mappers, the, the description is down below so if you want to download those mappers and do this yourself it literally only takes about 5-10 to 10 minutes to set this up on Virtual DJ unfortunately they don't really make it very clear when you're buying these that, that they do work with Virtual DJ they probably do tell you it works with Virtual DJ but you, there is a process of setting it up to calibrate it to the controller because at the end of the day all it does is replace the mouse um, so it's, it really should be a plug and play thing but you do have to download those mappers to get this to work with virtual DJ now just I didn't mention this earlier but I'm using virtual DJ Pro 7 uh, for this application but the, the principle is still the same with other controllers and with the software for Virtual DJ. This will work fine with Serato though. It will just plug and play straight out of the box um, <coughs> as I found that out because you're basically downloading the software from the internet for the controller so it basically works straight away. You know it knows it's there, it detects it. Now what we'll probably do is do another video to show you how to set up the sound and get the, the everything working in that respect so that you can use the two different channels one for the headphones one for the output uh, because that is a bit complicating as well with this uh, but it is fairly straightforward as well once you know how so we'll do another video shortly and uh, hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other videos we've got loads coming up soon so thanks for watching So high like this